Uh, so I'm just doing this video because I reacted to another one of his videos, and this is seems like a like follow up to that one. But let's get into it. I'm gonna tell y'all what I think. I might not watch the whole thing, but let's get into it. my theory on why many young men suffer from anxiety. I mean, I feel like this is why Jordan Peterson is popular, and all of these other YouTube like these YouTube channels like specifically this one that he's reacting to they they profit off of the fact that so many young men are lost so many men are lost in general and at the end of the day life is life you got to figure it out yourself these people are trying to help you yes but as a man you have to figure this shit out yourself people can't always guide you and if you need guidance is it, like what would you have done back in the day you would have been lost like who's going to help you besides the people around you and your pops or the the men around you who you see on a day-to-day -day basis like where are you going to get guidance from you should you should be talking to yourself a lot of these people in the past they didn't have the internet or they couldn't run to like youtube to get like help you feel me like like how do y'all not like sit down and contemplate and think to yourself about what you should do to fix your life to to get the woman that you want to get and get where you want to be like if you want something go for it if you can't get it you just not you not maneuvering right you feel me you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing now i'm getting on a rant i gotta talk about this shit in a whole video you feel me by myself when i'm not reacting so because this shit is crazy to me like that you can't figure out what you should do with or what you want to do with your life or how you should maneuver or how you should talk to girls or how if you realize it's not working, try something else, nigga. Like, what are you doing? Doing the same shit over and over again, expecting the different results. That's the definition of insane. If your approaches where woman is not working, try something different, bro. Be different from what everyone else would. Think about what other niggas be sending to girls. Stop doing the same shit that other niggas is doing. Do something different. You know what I mean? Like... I moved out at 22, but my ex didn't until he was 24, and he had He's been doing huge dumb shit. anxiety about doing real stuff. It was really putting off to me. Yeah, and look, that's a by that's a that's a byproduct of that shit, right? I'm gonna assume. See, you moved out. He didn't move out. His anxiety is from his his life and what he's been used to growing up. You feel me? Has nothing to do with moving out and moving out because there's some people who who are not like him. You feel me? Still living at home, but they're not afraid to do shit or stuff like that. So um that's just that personal nigga's problem and he needs to grow up he needs to you know real stuff it was really putting off to me yeah and look that's a by that's a that's a byproduct of that shit right i'm gonna assume it sounds like from what you're typing that's a woman i'm gonna assume you're a woman based on what she's saying she's she's literally proving my point a lot of y'all dudes have anxiety because you have lived no life. You wait till you're 28 years old to hop up off the fucking porch and do something for yourself. And then you'd be mad anxious because 20, at, physically you're 28, but mentally you're still fucking 17. Fucking wrong. That has nothing to do with hopping off the porch off the porch because of course you can hop off the porch and, and, and experience more life. But at the same time, just because you got an apartment and you have bills and whatever. I mean, you can have bills without without even having your own place. There's people who are paying their parents more mortgage and, and rent or whatever. There's, there's kids who literally help their parents pay bills, do sports and do a whole bunch of other shit. You feel me? So it's like, you don't necessarily have to hop off the porch to have responsibilities. There's niggas who's taking care of their parents and have more responsibilities than a young person should. You feel me? So like, this 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 shit right here the theory on why ma many young men suffer from anxiety it's just it's just targeting specific people you feel me who just haven't been through shit you feel me and that's that's just because of the life that they lived you feel me everyone lives different lives and not everyone's gonna go through the same experiences so you gotta accept that everyone's different you feel me at the end of the, end of the day some people are gonna have more anxiety than other people there's a lot of people out here with anxiety problems and there's some people who have no anxiety at all like nothing can touch them trouble them and some people haven't even lived no life and have no anxiety you feel me so it's like you really gotta relax it was realize that everyone's different chill out deku like <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's, it's about getting in your best shape on patreon we have three Free fitness course. Um, he want to show his body off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Free fitness course. Yeah, dude, get in shape, so though. I, I'm gotta, trying to do that. I want to do it, though. Like, he's literally telling you.
It's like, I got the body. I'm offering you a free fitness course, but are you going to do it? It's up to you to be disciplined. It's funny because I don't That's think this nigga saying, even has a girl, is to not be power. honest with you. Knowledge is only power when that, that knowledge is put into practice. And the second way that you need to have discipline is discipline financially. You need to know where Facts. every dollar that you're spending goes to. You need to be saving your money. Very you important. don't need to be wasting your money on lavish items. Save on money. Ding, 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 ding. This is exactly what I was talking about. Save money, yeah. I, I've, I'm I'm, not going to hold you. I've spent money la on lavish items and, and bullshit, too. I wish I could get that money back. It's just something that, you know, sometimes you end up doing because you want... you. It, it might be your birthday or special event. You might be drunk and you might just say, fuck it. It is what it is. Or I really like this shit. I really want it. And eventually you fold and you buy it. But really track where your money is going and, and, you know, try and make more money. Don't just rely on your job. You feel me? Robin Hood, let's just say, uh, you know, if you do something to make extra money, I, if you like, if you really put your mind to it, you could offer your own work, whatever you want to do, like figure something out. You could easily make like an extra 250 a week or, or even 250 a month from doing something that you like. You feel me? Um, I trade stocks. So. Let's just say today I made like five hundred dollars, and and that was just from two uh, credit spread. You feel me? I, I'm not gonna get into that because I'm not a finance channel or nothing like that. But like, yeah, find another way to make some bread other than your full time job. You feel me? Um, my goal right now is to make a thousand a week off of um credit spreads on on stocks. Of course, sometimes you might lose, but so far I've been doing good. You feel me? So talking about and that one video i uploaded like it feels like the message got totally i get it to some people like me moving out with only like two thousand dollars in my bank account is extreme i get that <clears throat> but i made it work so it's like if you don't want to do that fine say five ten thousand whatever but like the point is you don't need thirty thousand dollars in your bank account to move out that was the point i'm trying to make and like the reason a lot of people don't want to move out a lot of younger dudes is because you just want to be comfortable. Somebody said in the comments, well, duh, I want to be comfortable. You need to learn to live below your means. It will humble you and it'll help you save money so you can invest in other. Like motherfuckers just want to have it all at fucking 22. You should that, live that, below that your means. Lifestyle. That shit just went over. You really people. should. I'm like, whatever, bro. Minimalism is not a bad thing. I, personally, that's what I think. Personally. Like if I had a house, I'd barely have anything in it. Just the essentials. Maybe a TV. Maybe a couch. A bed a dresser that's about it maybe a little bookshelf maybe one a few books not a lot my laptop that's all i really need in life and my little studio that's all i need a little camera my microphone my desk my little setup honestly once i have all of that and i have my own crib i could care less about nothing else bro design or none of that like of course occasionally i might cop it if i have the bread but like it's really like so simple for me i don't need a lot of shit and i don't think a lot of people need a lot of the shit that they have when you're 28 there's no way you can give in to me you're 29 years old living at home with your mom and dad and you're happy and you fulfill you feel fulfilled as a man somebody doesn't make me any less of a man i didn't say anything like that i'm talking about your personal happiness your self-esteem there's no way any man can convince me he's happy living at home with his mom and dad 26 year old 26 years old sneaking chicks in the house in the back oh, we gotta wait we gotta wait till fucking 8 30 p.m when my parents are asleep you know the funny thing is that asians do this um like 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 let's let's just say like in the asian community is i think um a lot of them they look after their parents like i've seen tiktoks and stuff like that a lot of people they you know they take care of their parents so living at home isn't really looked down upon in certain cultures um is is mostly black people because i don't even think white people really do this although white people move out usually early but like black people are the ones who really put shame we shame our people for staying home and it's like that's another reason why a lot of us never have shit because we already don't have shit from coming from home and then you're gonna we're gonna move out and not and we already don't have shit and we probably don't have the mindset to get shit and so we just end up in struggle, you feel me? It's it's kind of sad, but, you know, a lot of people will force you to move out and tell you you got to move out. And then you don't, you know, some people just don't know where to go or what to do. And so, and they don't have the drive or the battery in their back to figure something out. So they end up stuck. You feel me? It's sad. Like, you're happy with that? 
But yeah, being 29 living at home is not the right, way. We'll see how that works. And that's why, I, that's that's what I'm saying, like, that's why I honestly, it's my theory why I think a lot of you dudes have fucking anxiety is because you don't have your own shit. You haven't, you haven't lived enough life. You have, you're very anxious about a lot of simple, basic life shit, like filing your taxes because your mom is still doing them at 25, bro. See, do it your fucking self, bro. Yeah, you, know, you should do shit really, yourself I, for the I most used part. I be really, um, upset that like my parents would like do shit to me when i was a kid but now i'm like happy that they did it like i remember when i got my first bank account when i was like 14 15 i thought my mom was gonna walk into the bank with me bro my mom pulls up to the bank and she said get out and go open a fucking bank account i was like nervous as shit long story short i went in there like 15 minutes later i came out i had a bank account i was like oh that wasn't so hard but you want to know the funniest thing is that now you don't even have to go in the bank you could do that online most of the shit you most of the shit these days you could do online. You don't even really have to leave the comfort of your home, which is kind of sad when you think about it. But at the same time, it's mad convenient because you could just open up a bank account online. Like, you think this is weird, bro? <laughs> Yo, shout to kill the can with the sub, bro. I, I ain't give my until nineteen. Yeah, you should have near like, your mom to hold weird. your hand. And I truly believe that's why a lot of you dudes have fucking anxiety is because you didn't. Just jump into the deep end of the pool. Stop putting your toes in the fucking water. Just jump in. Feel the water. It's not that damn bad, bro. It's not that damn bad. That's actually amazing on your mom's part. Very dope. I mean, that's been the story of my life pretty much. Just go fucking do it. And it's like, I be nervous. Facts. But Just then I come out and I realize, it. and then you do that so many times over and over in various different exp experiences. And fucking like a lot of shit doesn't bother me. And like I'd be so nonchalant about a lot of things when people talk. They like people think I'm putting on a front when I say I don't care. Like I'm like I am about to. I'm like you see like these boxes in the fucking back of my fucking background of my. Oh, you can't see it. Like I got boxes like to the right of me and then some over there. I've been packing right. I kind of want to stop it and point out that nonchalant thing because I, I I have that same energy, bro. There's a lot of shit in life that a lot of people complain, bro. Complain. Complain about other people's lives, compare, complain about their lives, complain about what's going on in the world. Bro, it's such a waste of energy, yo. Complaining without any solutions is like, it's just such a waste of time. It's like, why are you even complaining? You're not going to solve the problem anyway. You might as well just like sit back and just chill. Like, what's the point of complaining when you could just shut up and chill? Like, you feel me? Like, why am I complaining for shit that I can't even do nothing about? You feel me? I'd rather just chill. Like a lot of shit don't don't a lot of shit don't phase me. Bro. Like shit just don't phase me. And I think people think like people probably look at me. I feel like people probably look at me. People thought I was crazy. People probably thought I was crazy. Like, bro, and and literally at college, I remember I was I was sliding on ice, bro. I remember the floor was frozen. Like they had a big metal shit. And we was walking back to like the dorms. Bro, me, me and this other nigga named Knock, my, that's my nigga. So even though I don't really talk to him like that no more, none of that, but that was my nigga at the time, bro. We was dead sliding on the ice, bro. And I can, God, you know, these niggas scared, like, you might fall, bro. That's the fun part. If I go falling, tumbling, bro, that's that's fun. <laughs> you gonna hurt yourself, yeah, but that, see, so shit, shit really don't phase me. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna watch too much more of this video, but, like, a lot of shit in life is it's not that serious, bro. It's not that ser serious. You don't you don't you don't have to have anxiety. That's how I spent my birthday. I've been packing. I'm about to move. I can't say right now legally where I'm about to move, but in a few weeks I think it'll be announced. Uh, this it's all last minute, bro. It's all fucking. I gotta break my lease. It's all last minute. Within it's a, coming to New a York. few weeks, I have to pick up my life and move it across the fucking country. Uh, and I'm like very nonchalant about it. I'm like whatever because I've done it before. Like, I've done it before, but, like, I'd be very nervous if I never did anything, if I just waited. But if you just wait, if you... See, for me, you see there's some people who are nervous about stuff they never did before. Um, yeah, I don't I don't care. If I had to pack up my shit and, and move halfway across the country, but it's for an opportunity or it's for a reason, I'd do that shit, too. Like, it, it don't phase me. Like, I just, oh, well, I gotta move. Like, you feel me? So there's there's people like that. It's just that there's also people who have mad anxiety over every little thing. You feel me? And um, you know, you just gotta work on that. You feel me? Of course, you can't be too too nonchalant because that's also a bad thing. But I'm already dead. I can't change that.
If you wait to start living real life at fucking 28 years old, then you're still going to be nervous like you're a 14 year old because mentally you still in the back of your head, you always think, oh, my parents got me. I always operate from a standpoint of my parents are not going to be here forever. That's what I always say. Yeah, to no people. one got me. I'm but like, me. You, I'm like, I mean, yo, my parents still here for me. Like, but at the end you know, of the day, I have that you know, mindset. Parents too. got a good maybe like, depending on how old they are, good 20, 30 years left in them. If they take care of themselves, what you going to do? At the end of the what day, gonna I'm going to be okay. Say if we lost uh, this house yeah, yeah, right yeah. now, I'll figure it out. I always operate my parents could die tomorrow. Will I be okay? It's a weird way to think, but like that's just how I think. It's not, and like some people are like, oh, you're obsessed with the hustle culture? No, I'm obsessed with having my own shit. I don't want nobody taking care of me. Yo, shout out to uh, Mr. Yabi with us. I uh, appreciate it. Bro, ever since you moved out, I didn't ask my parents for shit. Yeah. And you know, the crazy part is another, another byproduct of uh, you moving out, like your parents, because my parents didn't agree with me. My mom didn't care. She was like supportive, but my dad didn't want me to move out. He didn't think I was ready at 19. Fucking yelled at me. But you know the byproduct of that shit is? I kept my head down for like the last 15 years and I worked, took good care of myself, and I'm one of the only people in my family that's not relying on the family for money. I come around when I want to. I do whatever the fuck I want to. I catch flights whenever the fuck I want to. And you get a different level. Your parents will never respect you as long as you're under their house. Even if that's good shit you know that's the thing about it I, like i don't want to be in those situations like he like he's literally just said he's one out of he's he's the best one out of his family like all, all everyone else is, relies on the family for money that's one of the situations i like i don't like relying on people like that's one of my pet peeves like like i let me tell you a story like i could get spent but i used to come home from school and not have a key because my parents would never I, i'd ask them for a key and they just never it'd take them like a month just to go to the locksmith and get a key made even though they had the money they had the time they just i don't know they just don't don't remember they mad but besides the point basically i would come home not have a key everyone's gone no one's home it'd be snowing i'd be freezing and before I pick myself up and go to the neighbor's do door and knock on the door and, and ask if I could wait for my wait for my parents to come home or wait for my brother to come home or someone to come home, I literally rather sit on the stoop and freeze to death than go over there and ask them. You feel me? Like that's how that's how that's the type of person I am. I don't like relying on people or troubling people, even though it might not even be an inconvenience to them i'm the type of person where i'd rather sit and endure that shit however long it take i'm gonna fight through that shit you feel me i'm not relying on no one else because this is this is my problem or my family problem this is my problem i have to figure this out you feel me even though at the end of the day someone's coming home to open the door for me but you 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 kind of get what i'm saying like i don't like relying on people and once i move out i never want to be in a position where i have to come back or ask niggas for money or none of that so that's the end of this video you feel me you're getting a little insider into the way i think and um i don't know if you care about this but you know i i figured i'd drop it i'd like to come back and look at this in the future you feel me so that's the end of this video like comment subscribe if you want more of these just let me know I didn't finish the video, but you could finish that yourself. Link will be in the description. Of course, I love um, the Black Hokage's channel. Shout out to him and all of that. You feel me?